Hello again. I have my latest wax order. This one is from Old Primitive Treasures and it's a good size amount. And we're going to get right to it. I'm sorry it's not very bright in here, but it wants to rain outside and I can't wait. I need to see and smell everything. Do, 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 do. Right. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I smell bomb, I'm not. Well, look at that. Look at that goodness. It's a box of yum. Alright, let's get this started. I have a sample of paraffin wax and Amish quilt which let's see do I have that on here Amish 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 quilt vanilla intertwined cinnamon clove allspice and a touch of sugar along with nutmeg and fruits so probably not something I'm gonna want because I do not like all those spices but you never know. Doot. Yeah, I mean, it, it actually smells better than I thought, but I mostly smell spices. So, ooh, I don't know what this is. I assume it's new. It's called Candy Coma. And, hmm. I'm not sure what kind of candy. I'm smelling like kind of a powdery, so it's definitely a sugar aspect. I quite like that one though. I'm not sure which kind of candies I'm smelling. Because, I mean, it just smells fruity. It doesn't smell like specifically citrusy or something like that. And then I have A Thousand Wishes, which is a Bath and Body Works. Well, like, is it a candle now? Can't remember, but it's definitely body care. Yeah, it smells like a, a lady's perfume. It wasn't really my thing. Alright. Oh, another one. Fizzy Fairgrounds Float. Don't know what it is, but I'm glad I have it. Create your own blend. Ooh, that means somebody created that. And I thank them kindly. It's berry, it's got some fizz, and I don't know if it has funnel cake or if I'm just assuming that based on it being called Fairground. That is quite good. So, whoever blended that, thank you very kindly because that was great. Alright, I think everything else should be mine. Stuff I ordered, I mean. Juicy pineapple, which is just pineapple. Just straight up pineapple. At least I think. Uh, yeah, sweet sucking it and juicy pineapple. Hmm. It's not as strong as I would like, and it smells more like um, it doesn't smell like sweet juicy pineapple. It smells like fresh pineapple, like before you cut it. So. Slightly disappointed, but maybe I'm melting, it'll be better. I have another, I think it's another lemon sugar bundt cake, which lemon sugar bundt cake is fresh buttery cake, eh, sorry, fresh buttery cake frosted and drizzled with lemon, mandarin zest, caramelized sugar, and creamy vanilla. And I dropped it. Yeah, that one's just super awesome. It smells like mostly lemon. I don't know if there's another kind of citrus, but I smell lemon and like creamy vanilla and definitely a kind of cake scent. That is so good. 
All right. Then we have Peachy Lemon Sugar Twist, which is strawberry, blueberry, lemon, and juicy peaches. I smell peaches. And I think lemon. Not really sure what I'm smelling besides the peaches, but there's definitely something besides peach. So that one's actually really good. And then we have berry lemon cotton candy, which is sweet cotton candy with hints of berry and lemon. So basically what the name suggests. And that's really good. You can smell the cotton candy. But you can also smell berries and lemon. So that one's a good one. For sure I already have one of those. I have I already have one of these, but I want another strawberry passion. And strawberry passion is somewhere. <laughs> It's fresh ripened strawberry with cotton candy and French vanilla. And you definitely smell strawberry. And you smell cotton candy. Not really sure if you can smell French vanilla. Like, I assume that's a slightly different flavor than, you know, or scent than regular vanilla. I have a tea and biscuits. which is orange and almond tea cakes and black tea. I only got one because I wasn't sure how it would smell. And now we need lots. Because you could smell like a cake kind of scent. I don't really smell the tea. It smells more like orange and almond tea cakes. Yeah, I don't really smell the tea. I mean, there's, maybe there's a hint of something in the background. But like if you had like an iced tea and you had this with it, it might be a little bit stronger. Or even like the le one of the lemons. Mango tangerine, which is mango, zesty clementine, red raspberries, and sweet vanilla. Mm, that one smells really good. You can smell the clementines, which does smell slightly different than oranges. Some mango and kind of like a deep berry. So that one's really good. And then I got Bubblicious. Or Bubblicious. <laughs> and that one is top notes of strawberry effervescence and citrus with mid notes of coconut and clove and base of crisp vanilla. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it smells like bubblicious. I mean, that's that's what it smells like. It smells like bubblicious with that, that hint of the powdered on top of the bubblicious to keep it from sticking to the packaging. That's what that smells like. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I also got sugar milk. Because I think I got something with that in it. And I wanted to know what that smelled like. So it's supposed to be sweet caramelized condensed milk. Hmm. I don't mind that. I mean, obviously, I'd mix it with something. I wouldn't want it on its own. It kind of reminds me of sugar milk like you know like when you have cereal and that's what's left in it that's what it smells like to me it smells more like that but that definitely smells like something i would definitely want mixed in with things then we have pink lavender noel which is vanilla bean noel lavender and pink sugar type now i'm not a fan of pink sugar or lavender really but i think i like them together this is, yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. Can't remember what it reminds me of. I think it's a Better Homes and Gardens one. Because there's, there's definitely lavender, but there's definitely also like a woman's perfume kind of like, you know, like a 
powdery kind of smell and then a little bit of a vanilla so that was actually pretty good I mean I don't think I'd want more of it but I'm glad I have this one I think maybe I like lavender with like strawberry maybe that's what I like I'm trying to figure it out I have vanilla blueberry shortbread which I believe I already have one of which is creamy vanilla shortbread and blueberries that one smells really good you can definitely smell the blueberries and the shortbread oh that one that one's just good it's so creamy and good it's like if you had blueberries and cream and then you had like a shortbread like smack you in the face Ugh, so good and they have lemon noel bread pretty sure that's sweet lemon with vanilla bean and our sweet bread I think I still have this one already. Oh, that is good. It just smells like a vanilla shortbread. Well, not maybe not shortbread, but it smells like a lemon cookie. So that one is just really, really good. I mean, there's a hint of a note of bread, but it's not like the fresh baked bread, which I apparently don't like. Oh, another sample. Sugared serendipity birthday cake. Oh, hell yeah. And look at this. Perfect color for it, and as so cute. Oh yeah, yep, that's definitely serendipity. I'm not sure what sugared serendipity is, but and you can smell like a cake kind of smell. That's just really good. I got some really good samples this time, because usually I get like cologne kinds, and I'm like, Meh. <laughs> so. But I'll take any kind, really. And apple orchard, which is pretty much all the apples. It's a combo of Cameo, Macintosh, Red Delicious, Fuji, and Granny Smith apples. Oh my god, I need a lot of this. This, number one, it would be great with mixing with things. Like, even the sugar milk. Or the lemon oil bread. But this smells like... Macintosh and Granny Smith apples, but would like I'm trying to figure out what that third one is. I mean, it's a tiny bit powdery, but this smells like fall, but it doesn't have all those cinnamon things in it. It's like if you had the apple part just before they threw the cinnamon in there, that is that is really good. I might need to get more of that. And we have pink sugar marshmallow. I have pink sugar marshmallow. I don't think I have pink sugar marshmallow. I have pink lavender. I think this might be another. I have a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, that's another sample. So pink sugar marshmallow, as you could tell, would be pink sugar and marshmallow, I assume. Ooh, that's nice. Oops, there I am. Haha. <laughs> I like that one. I like that. I would mix maybe this with that lavender one to give it a little bit more pink sugar, marshmallowy kind of thing. Oh my goodness, that was nice. Dang, girl. That's a lot of samples. Just peachy. Oh, where are we? Yeah, literally up top. Sun ripened, fresh, juicy peach. I think I, um, a lot of people have been putting this with cornbread. Oh, that is. That is definitely a fresh, juicy peach. Like, it's definitely a fresh peach. It's not like a candied peach. I mean, it has a hint of that gummy kind of candy, but it just smells like a fresh peach to me. But it's not like I eat lots of fresh things, so, you know. More of a memory. But that, that really smells like a really nice, strong peach. Like, if you want peach, get yourself some juicy peach because it's a juicy peach. It's called accuracy right there. And then a cornbread muffins. I'm glad I found that one next. And cornbread muffins, I'm just going to assume is, you know, cornbread muffins. I think it's just so sweet cornbread muffin. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that really would be good with the peach. Let's just find out. 
this smells good.